Chapter 1. Fated Encounter. You are listening at FameTV.info. For the cultivators of the planet of Makue, one of the best ways to improve one's own cultivation faster is by absorbing the energy of wisps, as beings of pure energy, their energy is very pure and easy to assimilate, although it's not recommended to do so. Doesn't matter how pure its energy might be, as an intelligent form of life, wisps are also bound to have a different kind of energy from heaven and earth which still has its defects if used for cultivation, of course, for the other life forms on this planet, be they people or demon beasts, it's still a common practice to use wisps. Sure the constant use of wisps might leave behind a shaky foundation, but for a planet where the strongest cultivators have barely passed the divine soul stage, such defects are not considered as important, as long as you reach the core formation stage, you can already be seen as a godlike existence by its people. Since that's the case, why bother with the detrimental side effects of using wisps? As for how the wisps feel about that, who cares? With such a convenient way of improve one's cultivation faster, almost no one in this planet even see them as a life form anymore. Because of the discriminated hunt of wisps, their number has plummeted to less than a thousandth of its original number from a millennia ago, because of that, the price in the market has skyrocketed which brought even more wisp hunters to their living places, and the forest of Cadiu just so happens to be one of those. In the forest of Cadiu, at the northern corner of the Yule continent, a wisp is running for its life, well, that's if you consider floating at high speed a form of running to start with, this is not the first nor the second time that Kruen has passed through this situation, the higher the price of wisp on the market, the more hunters Cadiu Forest had around, by luck or by experience. Kruen has extricated himself from them quite a few times. But today seems like Kruen's luck has come to an end, after using his many times surefire strategy of hiding within the river and letting its current carry him away, he didn't notice that he was already being tracked, in fact, it couldn't even be called bad luck anymore, due the small number of wisps remaining, the hunters have developed several new ways and tools for wisp hunting, with so few of them available, the hunters can't afford to let wisps escape anymore, they are worth way too much. Now, it has already become a market where the demand is too high and even if you have the money you could still end up with nothing. Krun didn't know how the hunters kept finding him time and time again, after a full day of pursuit he was already starting felling tired, even if wisps are beings of energy, they still need to absorb spiritual energy from the heaven and earth which can be considered as their food, but he had no time to do that at all. Finally, the hunters had led him to a dead end, he could already hear their approach, during the hunt he heard they cursing at him several times every time he escaped, but what really made him hate them was the ways how they addressed him. Fuck asterisk, this bag of money is too slippery. The floating gold bar is here, after him. Ah. My promotion ticket escaped again. Unwillingness. Just because I was born as a wisp. Why everyone only sees me as nothing more than cultivation resource or money. What did I do to deserve it? Why? I have always fled, I always thought that as long as I kept fleeing I would survive, but in the end all that matters is power. A bulk hunter around his thirties walked from behind a tree, a smile on his face. He he. Little guy, you gave us a lot of trouble, you know. After saying that, several more figures appeared around him, he truly had nowhere to go anymore. He couldn't help but think. Seems like this is really the end now, I might as well dissipate my core, it will be better than become someone's cultivation tool. If reincarnation really exists, I'll make sure that I won't flee anymore, I will become strong and definitely show to everyone that you can't just disregard me just because I'm a wisp. The hunter noticed that the wisp's energy started to fade away and gave a devil smile. Trying to suicide in front of us. How could we let you go just like that? Your value is way too big for us to allow you to do that. Throw the spiritual net. This spiritual net was made specially for the wisp hunting, it definitely wasn't the first time that a wisp had decided to dissipate their core instead of being captured, so though the hunter clans have long since developed this spiritual tool capable of completely seal the wisp's ability of control energy, stopping them from being able to dissipate themselves. Krun's mind went blank for a second, he tried to avoid the net, 
he definitely wouldn't allow to himself to become someone else cultivation bead. But the hunters were prepared, they were expecting that he was going to dodge and trode even more nets, completely sealing off all escape routes. Just as the one of the nets was about to fall over him, Krun heard a childish voice coming from behind. You baddies. How could you do that with such a little cute guy? Instantly, Krun felt a wave of energy pass trough him to strike the spiritual net, the net immediately turned into powder, soon being blow away by the wind. The hunter's face paled, it's not like them themselves can't destroy the spiritual net, but let alone being able to do it without being close to it, even if they were, there is absolutely no way they could crush it to powder, to do something like that they would need to be at the very least at the core formation stage and that still might not be sufficient. Soon they saw a little girl, no more than nine or ten years old coming flying from behind the wisp, her face truly showing how angry she was, but in Krun's eyes, he couldn't help but think how cute she looked, Krun is a wisp, not even a human to start with, for him to think that she looks cute one could already imagine that although very young, this little lady was sure to become a real beauty in the future. She had long hairs, a white and very smooth skin, with a little of a child fat that every child has around that age that didn't diminish her cuteness. The hunter leader soon came back to himself and immediately bowed. This little lady, is there something this shoe can help you with? The little lady was fuming. Why are you bullying him? Can't see that he's afraid. The hunters and the leader were taken aback. We are wisp hunters, of course we didn't come here to invite it for a cup of tea, right? Obviously, the leader only kept this thoughts for himself, that girl in front of him can totally crush them to a pulp with just a finger. We didn't know that this little guy was this lady's friend, we deeply apologize. All of you, quickly apologize to this lady and her little friend, the other hunters immediately understood the situation, their leader is a 7th stage chi condensation cultivator, for his attitude to change 180 degrees like that one can already imagine how much stronger that 9 to 10 years old little lady is in comparison with their leader, not to mention, for a girl as young as her to be this strong, they don't need to think much to know that she definitely has a very fearsome background. All the hunters quickly apologized, they wouldn't dare not do so. The hunter leader looked back at the girl with a smile. Little lady, we won't bully him anymore, I hope you can let us go. Humph. Since it looks like you all regretted your actions I will let you go, don't do that anymore. The hunter leader didn't dare to rebuke, of course, of course. Everyone we are going back. The hunter immediately left, one of the leader's subordinate couldn't help but whisper. Lord Shu, who is that girl? I don't know, but she isn't someone we can afford to provoke, not her, not her background, listen up, we didn't see anything today, do you all understand? Yes. Back there at the wisp and girl place, she looked back at Krun with a smile. All right, they won't do bad things with you anymore. My name is Wang Feifei, what's your name? Krun was still spacing out with all that happened, a second ago he was about to become a cultivation resource but out of nowhere he got saved by a child, what are the chances of such thing happen? Krun wanted to answer the little girl's question but just as he was about to do so he heard an old man's voice from his side. Feifei, the spaceship repairs are over, time to go, Krun almost had a heart attack. Where the hell did this guy come from? On the other side, Feifei looked sad. Already. We just landed a few hours ago, I haven't had time to move around at all. The old man quickly scolded her. Feifei, that's not how a lady of the Wang clan should behave, when we get back you can play as much as you want, but for now, we should keep going, we are still far away. Don't make me get in contact with your father. As soon as she heard about her father she stopped and just nodded. She's very afraid of her father and didn't dare make him angry, she was about to just leave when she remembered the wisp beside them. Uncle, if I go just like that those baddies will bully him again, he can't defend himself, can we bring him with us? Krun's mind felt like he was struck by lighting. Me. For real. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.